Grub, if you're here still, thank you for the gifted subs. Those were insane. But just like that, we're going to jump right into the game. And it's going to be Ness versus Sharp's Game & Watch. We know that this could be very dangerous for Debo because Ness, I'm sorry, uh, Game & Watch does have a lot of insane options, especially against the PK Soy Boy. So uh, it's going to be really interesting to see how uh, Debo actually adapts to this to this uh, matchup that, in my opinion, can be really rough in Ness. Yeah, I'm seeing Best Ness pick completely different characters to avoid using Ness against uh, Meister's Game & Watch sometimes. So, uh, yeah, like there's so many tools Game & Watch has that can be frustrating. Even outside of his amazing aerials, it just hit Ness very easily. He has the bucket always as a factor, especially off stage. If uh, Ness doesn't recover well, you just do down B and Ness is dead. <laughs> So, yeah, I really want to see what Devo does to uh, mitigate this bad matchup. Because it is still, you know, not necessarily a Game & Watch main, so definitely That's can uh, do really well in spite of it being a bad matchup. No, you're absolutely correct. The way that Sharp has been playing definitely oh. shows how good he is, but he gets the bur the burial into the forward smash. It's ridiculously strong, and it's impossible to survive, especially if you're that close to the ledge. And with that high percent, Devo needs to get something done, and he does get the yo-yo all around the world. Good trick there from uh, Devo getting the stock. Things are looking very even. I think you're absolutely correct. Uh, in the sense that, yeah, Sharp is maybe not the best game in watch in the world. And even though the the matchup can be a little complicated, Devo definitely feels comfortable with his own character. So it could be a matter of who makes the most out of the insanely strong characters that both of these competitors have. Definitely, definitely. I'm even seeing Devo recognizing that he can't necessarily commit to the specials as much as he would like to on this stage because of the nature of the bucket. And he's still keeping it really uh, close with Sharp, mainly just using his hitboxes to just contest Game & Watch. Very smart play right now. It also helps that Game & Watch is very light, so it won't take much for him to get a kill if he does get in. Nice tech chase from the platform. Oh, okay. Be careful at the ledge here. If I was Sharp, I would not want to be anywhere near the ledge when <laughs> Ness is back <laughs> facing it. <laughs> that back throw is always deadly. Okay, just no throw. Ooh, nice yeah. up smash. Yeah, very good it. answer. Here. Of, yeah, and, and one of the best burst options that Gaming Watch has is just so fast, so lethal, so effective. So it's a very, it's understandable that Sharp goes for such a strong option to get the stock. And even though we didn't see uh, Debo's opportunity to get the back throw that he needed to get the stock, it's still very doable because right now mm, he had the opportunity to get the ledge. However, uh, Sharp doing a phenomenal job at recovering certain stage, trying to come back to neutral and doing so effectively. He needs to get the stock immediately before more percentage racks up. It's not looking pretty for Debo right now. Great juggling here from Sharp. He is going to die that back throw, but 54% not bad at all. And honestly, a lot of that damage just came from him really following where Devo's going to try to approach and just meeting him in the air with this amazing neutral air and up air. It's kind of crazy. If Game Watch hits you without a jump, you're going to take a ridiculous amount of percent no matter what character you are. So Devo has to be really careful with how he chooses to jump in on uh, Sharp right now. Yeah, even though the percentages are a little bit... Um, separate from each other, it's still looking doable because you know that Ness can be devastating, especially with those aerial attacks and with that high percent could mean a lot if he manages to get the rage that he needs, but that Keyblade is going nice. to put him in a position where he won't be able to recover, especially if he finds himself pinned against a turtle in a hard place. It's very hard for Ness to find the right option there because just the way Sharp positioned himself and forced the situation where he was in control, it's just make it, it makes it insanely hard for Debo to do anything about it. We need to, we're, we're going to need to see a little bit of adaptation, but really, how, like, realistically, how how well can you adapt to random characters? It's just it's complicated, but I think it's doable. Devo doing a phenomenal job so far. Yeah, it, he did the best he could for playing that matchup, and honestly, um, I don't think he did anything wrong, really. It's just oh. maybe play a little bit more patiently so you don't get caught jumping and then juggled by a gaming watch, but... He didn't really have to deal with the bucket. He 
was getting some good combos and decently early kills as well. Just got put in a bad juggle situation, got put off stage like one time in a bad spot yeah. with no jump, and then that's all it takes as Game & Watch versus Ness, that's usually. True. So. Yeah, it's it's gonna come down to how well Debo is able to maintain maintain a uh, stage control in order to force situations where he is in turn um, in, in 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 a situation where he can punish with either back throw the back airs, which we know that are insanely strong, or maybe even with yo yos by the ledge, which is uh, arguably a little harder because of how good uh, Mr. Game and Watch's recovery can be, even if he goes low. But we know that Game and Watch tends to prefer recovering high, stall his recovery with the parachute. So oh. now with Shulk, it's going to be really hard for um, for Debo because. Shulk can be devastating and and disjointed characters like like sorties basically can be a pain a, a little bit of a pain in uh in Ness's back basically because it's just hard to reach. Yeah, this matchup has always been really rough for Ness. Uh it's not super easy if the Shulk isn't like very good at utilizing the Monado arts, but Judging sharp. that it's sharp, like, <laughs> I feel like he at least knows enough about this character to be able to abuse that effectively. Uh, the one thing that Ness kind of has that's good is he has a little bit better frame data on his moves. So right. he can catch um, Shulk doing moves preemptively and then, you know, hit him in the air faster. And also has really good ways of edge guarding too, yeah. So if he can set that up, he, I can see him getting in a good place in this matchup. But otherwise, if he's getting walled out and edge guarded, like, no, nobody's business. It can be really hard for him right now. Yeah, and I don't know how much uh, Debo has played with Nico in the past since they, even though they're both from SoCal like a while ago, uh, they weren't in the same region of SoCal, so maybe they didn't play that often. And he's basically one of the only Shulks that is in our region, so. Yeah, Shulk can be a little hard if you don't know the matchup that well. The deceptive, de deceptively fast uh, uh, hitboxes is just really hard to oh. deal with. And the pressure is just enough. That's Smash Monado doing God's work, putting Debo in a position where he couldn't recover just in time. Even if he tried his best, that was the perfect angle to recover with a PK rocket. But it was just a little, uh, just an inch away from recovering. And, and Sharp doing a phenomenal job here, even though he's not using Buster that much. His neutral is just putting uh, Devo in such an uncomfortable position, and the yo yo missing the confirm and the back throw not being enough. Nice use of uh, that jump arts to get a little bit of aerial mobility no back, way. but you I just don't know how to get out of that. Like, once that hits your shield, I don't know how you don't get hit. Like, it pretty much you always know. shield pokes. But uh, I'm sure there's a way around it. Yeah, like you're supposed to hold as hard as you can. Maybe you angled your shield, but that smash Monado taking the stock insanely early. That's something that that uh, Devo needs to take care and needs to keep mind of because he needs to bring this back immediately. Sharp feeling super comfortable with the Buster increasing the percentage insanely fast. He's looking super comfortable with a, a whole stock, and now with Smash Monado, he might be nice. Able to get it. He does get it with the. Basically, up B in the perfect position, risking all, but really not that much because he still had one free stock. Beautiful execution of how Sharp Dude. performed with Shulk Monado Blade. That was, that was like exactly what you're supposed to do with Shulk in the matchup, even though he's yeah. not Shulk main. He did it perfectly. That was so good. Uh, even Maybe using even Buster, counter. Buster correctly too. Um, yeah. He was racking up like 30, 40% just from getting Nair, Fair, and like a few grabs. Like, that's exactly what you want at low percent with Shulk with the Buster Art. Um, and Devo, honestly, to be, if I'm going to be honest, he was holding forward into Shulk's aerials a lot. Not really trying to find a way to interrupt them or play around them. He just kind of just running into the hitboxes. And Sharp is just sw swatting him like a fly over and over. Yeah. Uh, that's like the last it, thing you want to do with Ness, but it gets very frustrating when you're getting like walled out by aerials the whole oh, time. Oh, and, and he gets another grabs. sortie, and I would like oh, to argue my. that one of the worst sorties for Ness because of how hard he can hit. However, Devo still has a good chance here since Ike uh, Ike's recovery can be exploitable, and the fact that Ness has PK PK Thunder to pretty much interject when it comes to uh, the recovery 
could be the potential um, opportunity that Debo needs in order to bring this back. Naito looking really good with a 2-0 lead that he has so far. Good, relatively good matchup in the sense that Ike has insane rage, range, sorry, and a sword that just decimates you if you get caught. But it's really uh, a gamble. It's a, it's a, it's a coin toss in, in the sense of how it's going to work. Because yes, Sharp has the advantage when it comes to the reach of his attacks, but Devo does have the advantage when it comes to uh, aggression off stage. Definitely nice, Yo-Yo. Okay, he's gonna send him towards the stage. Still hits him back off the stage. Oh my goodness! And the four there to close it out. That was a beautiful edge guard. That was like a a three-step edge guard from off the stage, on the stage, back off the stage. Yeah, <laughs> that was crazy. Yo, and Devo is yeah. looking really comfortable in the matchup right now. Yeah, that's what I'm telling you. Like, it can go both ways. Right now, Debo taking advantage of the situation in the sense that, as I mentioned, it's just so easy to um, uh, to keep Ike off stage, especially if the, you have the right tools, which Ness has. And with another opportunity to go for it, he's still uh, understanding how, well, trying to understand how Sharp is going to recover in these situations. Great. He flashed there to add a little extra damage, but not quite yet to get the stock. Steve Sharp going for the Dare 2 frame. Oh, and Debo holds Ooh. down just to get the yes. rocket to connect. And steals it out with enough air. Jeez, Luis. Debo looking strong right now on this stage and in this matchup. But let me just chase you down with this raw dash attack. <laughs> Actually got buffed a few patches ago as well. Kind of crazy. <laughs> Very good kill move for Iconel. As well as a, uh, uh, either, really, it's taking stocks super fast. However we're, however, we're not seeing any of that in this game number three. Sharp trying to do his best, trying to make his, the best use of his sword. He's doing phenomenally. He's might be going for the spike, but no, instead, he tries to go for a little bit more of aggression on the air, doing a r relatively good job at uh, 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 upping that percentage. However, it is Debo who is clear on the lead, comfortable enough to keep bouncing around, keep moving, keeping the aggression, trying to go for the spike there, but the yo-yo is going to put him in a very uncomfortable situation, barely dodging that PK rocket. Wow, nice use of the side magnet to just get right behind Ike, sneak in the back air and keep up the pressure. Sharp on the back foot here for sure. Little bit of delay here, kind of unfortunate for both players. But they're still fighting through right now. He's going to get back thrown off the stage yet again. Okay, straight to the... No. No. <laughs> Unfortunate, but listen, that's what Debo needs. He needs a little... needs another opportunity. He's very well capable of bringing this back. He might be able to bring us to game number five. But this is exactly what Debo needed. He needed a mind shift. An opportunity that tells him, listen... I might have done a little poorly in the first games, or maybe Sharp did phenomenally in the first games, but this is the chance that I needed in order to bring it back. Let's see if he can take it. I would like to argue that he will, but again, it all boils down to Sharp's pick. It's, nice. it's random. You really don't know. Devo's probably praying, praying, like, please get a good matchup. Please get a good matchup. <laughs> yeah. Ganondorf. <laughs> Ganondorf, imagine, dude. Don't jinx it, those strides. <laughs> nah, I'm, rooting for, I'm, rooting, I'm rooting for Devo, man. I'm rooting for no, Devo. No, that's cheating, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I'll use my commentator's curse against Sharp right now. Uh, dude, if it, listen, if it's Ganondorf, you, you, you're banned. I, I'm telling yeah. you right now. Because it's then you would prove that it's rigged. Everything, it's a lie. It's friends. <laughs> let's see, let's see. Yeah, that was By a kind way, of... Interesting match. Like, I actually expected that to go a lot harder for Devo just because of Ike being generally very good against Ness. But uh, he just, once he set, set up the pressure, he didn't let Sharp breathe at all. Kirby! Oh, I'll take it. That's just as good. Let's go. <laughs> you reckon? I don't know. Kirby? Listen, no, 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 no. Yeah, a lot of people say that Kirby is a low tier. I absolutely disagree. Kirby in the right hands can destroy you. He won't even let you breathe. He will overwhelm and swallow you whole. Because Kirby can be devastating at early percents, and he's really good at finishing off stocks. Yeah, it's true. I've seen Jeja JS Kirby way too many times. Yeah. I really think this character is complete trash, but I don't like him, so I'm just going to keep calling him low tier. <laughs> oh, so. But he's, he's good. Be. He's good enough. He's good enough. 
like, he can still win if the opponent just sleeps on him. Like, he's one of those characters that, like, he's bad, but you still have to respect certain things or else you'll just get blown up like he's a good character. And, uh, I don't know. I don't know how much Sharp plays Kirby, but it, it's Sharp, it's true. so I'll, I'll, won't doubt him at all. <laughs> possible that that is true you know what i'm most concerned about is offstage because kirby can be really really obnoxious when it comes to uh using that stone the rock ability that that kirby has and especially against ness it will be a fair trade in order to stop pk rockets off stage so it could be a really good option there for um for sharp in order to trade or contest but no instead he finds himself in scenario that we know that it's absolutely devastating for Ness. Look at him go. Ah, I wanted to see the rock there because that would have been really good. A little risky maybe, but instead he opts for the drill, which allows him to add a little bit of percent. Let's see if he can get the edge guard. He needs to find himself in a good position, but no, he's not going for the rocks. I would like to argue that's the best bet, but listen, I'm not the one playing. Yeah, I actually agree with you. I would love to see the stone edge guard just... Ooh as an attempt, but man, he's not going for it, and Devo's saying, hey, if you're not making my recovery any type of uh, difficulty, I I'm yeah. completely fine just taking these stocks, securing this lead, almost 40%, those stocks taken on Devo, look at the dash dances, the back throw, he's just, he's just so confident right now, he's going for spikes, he's not scared of Kirby whatsoever. And Ooh, Sharp the is struggling oh. a little there against the two for well that regrab actually yeah. really well executed there from Sharp. But it's really hey, maybe he can go for the cheese to bring it back. Yeah, it's I saw him. Kirby excelled. Yeah, he was going for it. You saw him too. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it's uh it's Devo's opportunity to go here. Oh. He's losing his jumps and losing height. You cannot jump forever. And Devo takes game number four, bringing us to a, the most desirable. Game number five, ridiculous playstyle there from Devo. I'm telling you, that was that was a mind shift that he needed. And let's see if Sharp gets actually good RNG to get a good counter pick. Yeah, I mean that's the best case scenario for Devo getting Kirby in the random select. Like he just looked like he just went to town as soon as he saw Kirby on the screen. <laughs> he like didn't respect any of Kirby's options whatsoever. Uh, really? But I think a lot of it had to do with Sharp also not really. Uh, using Knowing any of the them. Character? So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I didn't see any down tilts or up tilts or dare edge guards. Or the no drag downs. Yeah. yeah. I mean, as, as the chat, as our lovely chat and audience uh, so uh, perfectly put it, he ain't no jecha jecha. So yeah. <laughs> it's understandable that, that he didn't do uh, too well in this matchup. And now Sharp is risking his uh, his tournament run. He, remember, we are in the loser side of bracket. Sharp is going random all throughout the tournament. We haven't seen a single character that is not randomized. So if he doesn't get a good matchup in this potential last game of his run it could be devastating for him and he will be placing himself in i believe uh fifth uh, place i'm not sure one two three four five yeah fifth place even even if he would lose here I, of course he doesn't want to sharp wants to win this entire tournament but uh I, if he does lose like it's really impressive to get like over 200 inches oh, yeah. using random the whole time like oh yeah fifth, dude fifth place like it's crazy yeah, you, you have to applaud that. You have to give it up for him because the commitment and, and not only the commitment, the execution being this effective is just it tells you how good his fundamentals are overall and how good he can perform even at disadvantages uh, situations. Yeah, and I think it's actually cool to uh, be able to know what every character does in the game. Like that just helps yes. when you actually play your actual the character because you know what you're opponent's character does sometimes even better than what they yes. do. Yeah, you get to understand them. You 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 walk on their shoes and you become a little better comes to facing them off because you get to understand at least to some degree the limitations of the character. So this is something that uh, if you're trying to improve in the game, something that it's absolutely recommended. If you're struggling against certain matchups, try that character. I myself struggle against Bayonetta. I suck at following my own advice, <laughs> so I've never touched Bayonetta, and I never will. But uh, hey, hey, I can tell you that it's it's a good advice. If you struggle against matchup, uh, try that character and see what the extent of their capabilities are. So definitely shout to all you guys there. But uh, I don't know what's happening here. Are they going into it finally? Oh, Ooh. they are. They are. 
Oh, okay. Sorry, it's a it's still a, a hand warmer, as they call it. Okay. As, so I don't think their hands are cold. I'm not sure. <laughs> I think he might be going violet, and he's just warming up the violet. I I don't know. Dude, if it's Byleth, it's going to be so hard for Devo. It's just incredibly, the, the reach that Byleth has and how strong it hits, it can be devastating for Ness. Ness struggles with sorties. Yes, they are hand warming, as you mentioned, and Dan's the eye in the sky basically let us know. Um, it, it's, it's again complicated. If indeed Sharp goes with uh, Byleth, it could be potentially very difficult for Debo. It all comes down to how good he feels again the, against these kinds of sorties. But Byleth can be devastating if you're not careful enough. Yeah, it's actually funny that uh, if he is going Byleth, that like he's just going straight back to the sword. <laughs> he's yeah. like, yeah, Shulk worked really well. Uh, Titan didn't work that well. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, you know, fundamentally, this is a good counterpick against Ness. So let's just let's just do the sword. I, I can't tried. use Lucky anymore. Yeah, I actually tried to learn Byleth just to deal with Ness and Lucas because it's a matchup that I struggle a lot. So I know for a fact that Byleth can be really hard on Ness. It's just the, the reach that it has. It beats the insane reach that Ness has on his hitboxes. So it's it's, it's a good, good matchup in terms of uh, length, uh, reach. But Ness does have insane, insane frame data. So it can be a little complicated. It can go both ways for sure. Yeah, if he is committing to Byleth here, Devo has to try to overwhelm him as much as possible just because mm -hmm. of how slow mm -hmm. uh, Byleth is. But uh, man, I've just seen so many incredible Byleth players that they can just make it so you can't even get in on this slow character, make it seem like they're just yeah. so fast and so mobile. But uh, let's see. I know Sharp actually has a really good Byleth too. So this is Ooh. actually probably going to be a really good game five right now. It is. It's going to be Byleth versus Ness. A hard task ahead for Debo. Remember, this is Game 5, Loser Semi-Finals. So it's very, everything is on the line here. You want to stay alive if you want to go to Loser's Finals, but this is the last chance that you got. Whoever loses, whoever tries to uh, make the, the most insane clips or plays, you risk everything. You need to play safe, but you also need to keep your aggression up. And this is how we start. Debo going for the strings or early percents and getting a comfortable 50 and maybe even more if he manages to do something. But it's time for Sharp to do some, to bring some pain. Oh, nice tech chase there from Debo. He hasn't really gotten any jab locks yet, but... And every time he's not in position to space, the jab lock, he's there with the really strong tech chase. That's something I noticed that's very consistent in his play yeah. so far. Which is super impressive. One thing, though, that I'm surprised is that they keep letting Debo go to Pokemon Stadium, too. I think this is an incredible <laughs> Ness stage. Like, I would ban this versus Ness if I have a chance every time. Yeah, I think I, I agree with you. However, maybe maybe Sharp feels comfortable here as well. And, and again, it, it's matchup-wise. It, it's matchup-dependent. The fact that uh, Sharp does have a good reach and um, uh, fairly strong kill power and a lot of his moves can be uh, the determining factor when it comes to taking stocks. He just needs a good back here. He just needs a good... Uh, poke of that uh, lance in order to make massive damage and the percentage are insanely high and it's just a matter of a good edge card in order to take it that nair is going to make it a little harder let's see if he can get anything going from here oh, there goes early the down here but nothing happens yeah good attempt honestly ness had no jump there it all came down to just timing first sharp just barely missed it though back throw here get the snipe no force the low recovery Oh, but the up air from Devo. Wow, that actually, that, that hit me for sure. I thought he had no options. I would have gone off stage too. Oh, oh yeah, but he goes right back. <laughs> wow. Yeah, he gets it back to back. I would have gone for Nair too, and, and that's exactly what got him punished so poor, so bad because I thought the Nair would have been uh, the best option, and maybe that's why he didn't go for it when he tried to go for the spike, but instead he finds himself punished with it and the percentages, again, looking very even. Nothing no jump. is in anyone's no favor, jump. but no jump and another opportunity to get it. Let's see if he oh. can get the spike. He doesn't once again, missing the perfect timing for that. Still a lot of pressure though for Debo to get back to the stage. Sharp has a lot of control. Okay. Oh, goes for a force smash at the ledge. Not, not a hard punch surprisingly from Debo and Sharp still has really good positioning here. 
DY hasn't been able to get to center stage just yet. He's getting walled out by all the range of Byleth that kind of what you would expect to do against Ness in this matchup. Great grab. Oh, oh DI'd nice. in on that throw, and that's a really Beautiful. bad trade for Debo. Nice stuff for Sharp securing that stock and a tiny bit of a lead here. Yeah, potential last stock from Debo. A uh, last opportunity to bring it back. He does have the good confirms. He does have the killing intent, and oh. he just needs to get a good confirm. Barely missing the sweet spot from that backer. That would have been it. However, it is Sharp who's capitalizing the most from this sort of lead that he has. Well, definite lead that he has in another situation where he might be able to go for the spike. He instead, goes for the nair for a little bit of extra damage. Unable to get the kill just yet. That shield is going to get pulled from underneath for the yo-yo very good damage and very good stock Debo still has an opportunity but it's becoming increasingly harder as the percentage reaches the hundreds yeah and sharp is not letting go of the pressure whatsoever anytime Debo's on the back foot he's getting so much aggression he has to worry about this sword so hard oh the tech chase though nice di from sharp to get out of the pk fire but oh no punch on that dash attack surprisingly from Debo Sneaks in the throw of his own. This is actually pretty good. There's a chance. Nice. Oh, what a wow. back air. Brilliant positioning. Wow. This is going down to the wire. It goes for a crazy force smash, but no punish. Okay. Okay, fire jumps out of it. Oh, another one into the up smash. Oh, that's definitely enough with the slight charge. That was so good from Debo. Debo, knowing that Sharp was going to uh, mash out of the PK fire, he actually positioned another PK fire where he would land and then got enough time to charge the up smash. That was actually...